How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here and in today's video I'm going to be just going over a package I got in from Dom from Box Attack. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out his account before, I'll link it down in the description. So just go give him a uh, thank you because he ended up getting me quite a few items that I was not able to acquire myself. And there are some Pokemon cards here so I'll break them open and then uh, I'll show everything off. So let's talk about, show off what I got for Pokemon first and foremost. I got these, I was able to actually hunt down because I wasn't able to find the Eevee promo card. I was able to get Jolteon, but Eevee for like two weeks I wasn't able to get. And then I was able to actually find a pack last week at my store. But we got uh, two of the three pack blisters. We got two individual blisters, which is nice because I like opening up individual ones because I feel like my odds are a bit better. These three packs aren't that bad, though. And then the last thing is a Venusaur VMAX Battle Box. And I'm curious about this. Very curious about this. So that's what we have for Pokemon products. Uh, I'm going to show off the big ticket item, the one that... I've been looking forward to for a while the most. Uh, I'll show that off last. But he actually was able to get me a custom too of Endeavor. It's Blue Flames Endeavor. And I'll take him out of the box so that way you guys can go get a look at him. Like even the hair of the uh, customizer changed on here. So it's nice to have Blue Flame Endeavor. Pretty cool. here's the pop out of the box because it, it's really cool hairstyle changed up completely it's glossy I like it now if it glows in the dark I'm not sure I haven't tested that out it could but even if it doesn't I mean that's pretty amazing if it does glow in the dark uh I'll have a picture on my Instagram account uh, with the glow, if it does glow. If it doesn't glow, I'll still have a photo just showing off everything, promoting this video so that way people can go ahead, watch this, and then, uh, give him a thank you for me because he's already heard it from me, but, uh, having a couple of you guys just say thank you for me might, might be nice, you know. And then the, the item that I've been waiting for for a while something i wasn't able to secure myself which i'm going to cross my fingers this doesn't happen again because not being able to get this hurt me the Nedre hotto funko pop they got that giant ring light on it i'm so happy i'm so so very happy i have her she is awesome. Now, I saw that a couple of them did come in broken, thankfully. Uh, she is fine. She, none of her spirals came off. She is gorgeous. Back of the box, we'll show off this right here. But yeah, he was able to get one for me. And like I said, I'm very appreciative because this is the last Funko Pop I needed for the entire My Hero collection. And... I like Nedre. I like her a lot. Enough to have a plushie of her. <laughs> and then uh, one of those, I think it's WFC or WCF figures. Uh, I can show that off real quick. It's not that hard to find on my collection. But yeah, I, I'm very happy to have her. She's probably going to look amazing out of the box too. Oh, she's gorgeous. I love it. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Don, for getting this for me. And then uh, let's just break into the packs. I kind of want to see what's going on with the Venusaur Battle Box last because I haven't gotten a uh, Battle Box. It looks like there's a theme deck in there, if I'm not mistaken. Not a theme deck, uh, like a deck box. Maybe there might be some sleeves in there. I don't know. It'll probably tell me on the back if I read it, but I don't feel like reading. I'd rather just open it up and then, uh, have a go at it from there. So, 
two individual packs. We got three from each of these. A battle. This is all battle styles, uh, except for what's going to be inside the battle box. I think there's going to be more than just battle styles. Pop out the coin. Coin is Shaman for uh, the three pack blisters. And I think I have like four or five of the Shaman now. I'm actually getting pretty decently far in my battle styles collection like i don't ever intend on completing sets but for battle styles it might actually i wouldn't say it's possible because i'm missing a lot still and they just keep producing so many different like full art variants that it's just impossible to get because beforehand it was just the full arts but now it's full arts and then the hyper rares so, eh, it might be a little bit of a pain to get those in the future, but let's uh, let's see what this battle box is all about. I, I'm really curious because this piece right here, I don't know what that is. And then we'll go over like the card details, stuff like that. See, if, see if he's worth it competitively, which sometimes they are. Most times, promos aren't. But yet again, I haven't ever participated in a tournament, uh, played for money. I played just the TCGO, but I'm competent enough from my Yu-Gi-Oh! experiences to uh, know what works. That's our giant promo card, full art. Four storm, 30 times. This attack does 30 times each grass energy attached to all your Pokemon. Attached to all of your Pokemon. That's not bad. G Max Bloom, 30 heal, 210, 2 grass, 2 colorless. So that's 12, 120. Uh, mm, is it good? I don't know. I don't. I'm going to be honest, I don't necessarily think so. And that's specifically because even though it's cool that it's 30 for each of your, uh, each grass energy attached to any of your Pokemon, so each grass energy you can play on your bench and fit on your active field, you gotta, it's gonna take a couple turns to get to that point. And then, I mean, you get 200, you get 120 from that, but it's just better to use the G-Max Bloom anyway, just so that way you can heal 30. 330 health, though, that's a lot to tank. And I was mistaken. I did think these were, uh... Ooh, they feel awful. <laughs> Compared to, like, their, like, what they normally feel. So this is, uh, the sleeves that I've been using lately, just to get rid of my Eternatus ones. These ones feel a lot flimsier. Like, more like paper, but I don't know. We'll, we'll use the Venusaur ones. These are sleeves they're not it was a it wasn't a uh deck box i thought it was going to be a deck box but we'll use these sleeves to uh sleeve up our promos here first up tail whip i think i already reviewed these cards i'm nothing special for any of these guys yeah especially this thunder doing 30 damage to yourself i mean it's 160 but you get uh, four, four turns of that, and then you're dead. And then just showing off the uh, promo card, the Venusaur itself, before we hop into the card contents that you get, the pack contents. And then same same attack that we just reviewed, so I don't have to go over all that again. But we'll separate these guys just a bit. Inside this, you get what is this? Two battle styles, one darkness ablaze. That's pretty cool. Uh, might get a might get a Charizard. Who knows? Who knows? So we'll open up from oldest set to newest set. I think that's probably probably the way to go here. 
And of course, I open up off camera just so that way you guys don't see the code. That way you don't steal my online virtual pack and then that way the surprise is safe for you guys more than it's safe for me. I don't care for these things to spoil for me, but it's nicer for the video that you guys don't know. Pop Leo, Zubat, Carvana, Snubble, Wingle, Pissimian, Team Skull, Skull Grunt, uh, Poison Barb, Reverse Serena, and then Shenotic Hollow Rare. Sun and Moon. Was that Sun and That was Sun and Moon base, right? Hold up. I'm not... Yeah, wait, why are they sending me a pack that old? I know, clearing inventory, but still. We're in the Sword and Shield era. I guess that's, that could have been the Sword and Shield base. Shenotic. Not bad. Darkness Ablaze. Are we going to get anything? Probably not. Now, the reason I know this is because, first of all, the set has a higher value card. So the, rare, the rates aren't exactly the same. And on top of that, this comes from one of the four pack boxes. You are lucky enough to get a hollow. But I might be wrong. I've been wrong before. One, one, two. And we have Mareep, Snubble, Tauros, Brooka D, Mr. Mime, Hiding Energy, Fletchender, Pokemon Breeding Nurturing, Breeders Nurturing, Diglett Reverse. Okay, we pulled out another hollow. Wasn't uh wasn't a Charizard like I was hoping, but you know. A hollow's a hollow. It's it's something. So I'll take it. Not bad. You can barely even see the hollow foil on these sleeves. Like if I were to put it inside this, you'd be able to see it. I can't even see that that's a hollow. But in these sleeves, you can. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to be using these guys. <laughs> uh, that's on Pokemon. But I'll, I'll put it back in the Venusaur just for now. But that's on Pokemon's bad design, man. Yeah, you can't... You can barely see that that's a hollow in these sleeves. I'm not a fan of that. And then we got, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight packs of uh, battle styles to go through. There shouldn't be anything else because usually they weigh these a little bit. I'm from previous experiences Murkrow, Salandit, Bellsprout, Mean Fu, Yamper, Cheryl, Mustard, Durant, Reverse Marowak, Phalanx, regular rare. They weigh these a little bit, and it's very obvious from previous pulls that I've gotten where you only usually get one card. Sometimes it's full art, sometimes it's only just a hollow, but usually only one pack ends up with it. But there are rare exceptions where you get two hollows or three hollows, but usually in these four packs, it's better off to get tins because tins you're usually not as screwed over. Durant, Reverse Pachirisu, and then Cherim Hollow. So. I mean, I should probably bite my tongue for, uh, calling these boxes, like, trash for garbage, like, garbage value. But, I mean, for me, they, for me, they usually are, but that's only because you buy these sets just for the promos, that's it. Ability, Spring Bloom. Uh, as often as you'd like during your turn, you may attach a... All right, uh, Venusaur is good then. <laughs> Venusaur is good then. I don't even care. Uh, Seed Bomb, you don't even need to worry about that. Okay, so usually with Pokemon, you can only place down one energy per turn. With that ability, you can place down multiple grass energies. Uh, Venusaur VMAX works. Specifically, if you can place down uh, as many... Uh, grass energies onto your bench because it doesn't matter if it's attached to just him so you use your first energy on Venusaur then you use your charms ability 
to fill up your bench with grass type attacks and then once you can move Venusaur to your active slot how much would you need you would need a lot of grass energy to make it worth doing but I mean for two grass energies attached to Venusaur then you can actually use the attack versus needing four for G Max Bloom two three dropped one one two and we have Zubat, Cubone, Frillish, Litbug, Roly Coley, Pig Knight, Dottler, Carcol, Reverse Main Shell. Hey, Urshifu. Not bad. We're getting some nice pools. Hold up. I don't have this one. See what we'll see what you do. We're doing a lot of reading today. I'm not used to this in my videos. Laser focus. Choo -choo -choo. Search your deck for up to two fighting energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Uh, ability kind of sucks. <laughs> the, uh, the attacks kind of suck. Uh, I think he has a VMAX form, so I think if you use the VMAX, you're fine. One, two, three, drop the one, one, two. And I still don't know if there's any amazing rares in this set, but I don't think so. Main Fu, Ball Toy, Mr. Mine, Romances, Biro, EXP Share, Rapid Strike Energy, Cacturn, Reverse Energy Recycler, Rapid Strike Style Mustard, Hyper Rare. We're going to ignore the, uh, the Venusaur rule where I'm just putting them in the Venusaur sleeves. I could do it for the effect, but nah. I don't even know what this card does. You can play this card only when this is the last in your hand. Put a Rapid Strike Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. If you do, draw five cards. That's not too bad, but it requires you to run specific comps. And it's only from this set, so. <laughs> I didn't have that one either, so... uh we're not we're not complaining over here. One, two, three, drop the one, one, two. We're not complaining. Salandit, so Roly Coley, Esper, Shinx, Blitbug, Visharp, Cheryl, uh, Mustard again, Reverse Progly, Licky Licky, Regular Rare. Next pack. <laughs> we got some pretty good pulls. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, and what is it? packs all together uh 12 packs so i mean we're above average which is perfectly fine by me mr mime scatterbug yamper lickitung zubat grumpig crawdon buffalon reverse esper and then luxray hollow rare it's a hollow i actually didn't own so another hit what is it six 50 percent Right, because it was four packs from the Venusaur box, six, ten, and then two individuals. So yeah, Electro Step. This attack does forty damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, cool. So you don't have to attack the attack active one. Uh, Scar Strike. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counter on it, it says two hundred. That's not bad for yes. Yeah, but that's a stage 3 Pokemon. He only has 150 HP, too. So. The meta is so power crept at the moment with HP. That 150 HP is not going to do you much. You can get hit by a G-Max Bloom and die. So. Oh, uh, Ronzor. Tepig. Uh, Pachirisu, Mainfu, Ball Toy, Weeping Bell, Luxio, Tower of Waters, Reverse Cacnea, and then Bolton Regular Rare. Three packs remaining. So, good chance we can actually even pull, what, one more? Maybe? That's what I'm expecting. Just from having three packs, it's usually, odds are one and three normally. Hone Edge. Electabuzz, Baltoy, Flygar, Salandit, Durant, Morpico, Coracle, uh, Remoraid, Victini V, another, uh, 
Another V card I didn't have. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. We're doing fantastic. Nom, you picked out some great packs. V bullet. 10 plus. Uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is... If if your opponent's active Pokemon is a V, this attack does 50 more. Ew. Flare shot, 120. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. Bad card. <laughs> Bad card competitively. For sure. For sure. You stay away from that one with a 10 foot pole. That's how bad that is. But uh, it's a fire type. What did I expect? We have Pawniard, Houndor, Shinx, Gligar, Spoink, uh, Energy, Bisharp, Sc Scroll of Scorn, Reverse Bronzong, Primate, Regular Rare. Last pack. Even if this is a dud pack, I mean, we made out with a Hyper Rare. I, I think I'm the winner. I, I, think I, I think I did well enough here. So here we go. Last pack. One, two, three. And we have Cubone, Murkrow, Tepig, Hone Edge, Electabuzz, Camping Gear, Durant, Girder, Reverse Weeping Bell, and then Jellicent Regular Rare. All in all, not bad. What is that? 12 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So over 50% hit rate. And with a box, <laughs> that's not bad at all. Because, like I said, for boxes, I don't even expect it. I expect them to get at max, usually only one, if that. So, not bad. Uh, like I said, especially being that all the other things, too. Nedre and then the Endeavor. I'm very, very happy with this box. Thank you, Dom, for sending this my way. Uh, like I said, please just go check out his account. Uh, like I said, it's going to be linked down below. And I will see you guys next time I have a video to upload. Uh, we'll see when that is because it's random at this point. So take care, everyone.